What is the difference between quit and call it quits? Hello everyone, my name is Spencer and I'm here to teach you English and I'm also here to help you review the expressions from my book Wanamin Geiji Bekporo Sarinen Spencer Sam Migo Kyonga. And today we're talking about chapter 9, lesson 3, quitting a hobby. Chimi Gmandugi. First of all, let's talk about quit. Quit means to stop doing something that you used to do. So for instance, you can quit a hobby. You can also quit a job, or you can quit school, or you can even quit smoking. So that means that you no longer do that activity or you no longer go to that place. For instance, I quit cello after middle school. I quit cello after middle school. I quit cello after middle school. 전 중학교를 졸업하고 체로를 관뒀어요. Now let's talk about call it quits. This also means to stop doing something and it can be any kind of activity. School, work related, hobby related, or it can even be a bad habit like smoking. The only difference is that call it quits is focusing on the decision. That means you decided to quit. And also it's a little more casual than just quit. And of course, when you use this in a sentence, you can't use it exactly the same as quit because it is its own phrase, called it quits. So you could use it like this. I lost interest in photography, so I called it quits. I lost interest in photography, so I called it quits. I lost interest in photography, so I called it quits. 나 사진에 흥미를 잃어서 그만두기로 했어. So you can see it means that I've decided to quit. That is the emphasis here. It's a little more casual and the way you can use it in a sentence is just a little bit different. Now, how about we talk about some more ways to talk about quitting a hobby? 이제는 짐이 그만두는 표현 더 배워볼까요? First of all, let's start off with something easy and simple. You probably already know it, but you can just say, I stopped doing something with an ing verb. For instance, I stopped camping by myself as I got older. I stopped camping by myself as I got older. I stopped camping by myself as I got older. 저는 나이 들면서 혼자 캠핑 가는 걸 그만뒀어요. Just make sure that it is an ing verb after stopped. I stopped camping, I stopped painting, I stopped playing cello, and so on. The next expression is one you heard when I was talking about call it quits, and that is lose interest in something or lose interest in doing something. So here you can use a noun or an ing verb. For instance, I lost interest in blogging. I lost interest in blogging. I lost interest in blogging. 전 블로그를 운영하는데 흥미를 잃었어요. So this explains why you quit doing something. In this case, why you quit blogging. So it's very common to move on to a new hobby, right? You quit one hobby because you found something else that you enjoy doing more. In that case, you can say, I've moved on from A to B. And here, make sure you're using the ing verb or the noun. For instance, I've moved on from making blankets to making clothes. I've moved on from making blankets to making clothes. I've moved on from making blankets to making clothes. Here the hobby is pretty similar, but anyway there is a difference. And saying I have moved on means that it's happened recently. If it happened long ago, you can just say I moved on. I moved on from A to B. I hope this video helped you feel more comfortable to talk about quitting a hobby. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!